Good morning, Nassau County. This is Brandy Carvalho from the County Manager's Office coming with a news brief from the Emergency Operations Center in Yulee. I am joined by Nassau County Fire Rescue Chief Brady Rigdon, County Manager Taco Pope, and Nassau County Emergency Management Director Tim Cooper. Director Cooper, do you have updates for us for the residents in Nassau County about Hurricane Milton and anything that you would like to share, strong encouragement messages for safety of the residents? Yes, I would like to support the uh, strong encouragement that we put out on our 830 post this morning on our Facebook. And what we would strongly encourage those residents to do is uh, follow the message that was in that warning. We are expecting to see some impacts in Nassau County. Again, not as bad as some people will, will experience, but there are going to be impacts here. And so we encourage them to follow that advice. Um, I, I'll use the analogy, you know, if you see somebody walking down the shoulder of the road, you can look at that and say, that could be a dangerous situation. We have, through planning, designed a sidewalk for you, right? So if you're walking down the shoulder of that road, if you're in that situation because we're in the threshold impacts of this storm, this sidewalk's there available for you. Step over to that sidewalk, go to a shelter, go to a friend's house. And, and that's particularly important for people that are in low-lying flood-prone areas, for people that are power-dependent special needs. The shelter is open. The shelter is available. Please go there if you're in that situation. We would identified certain locations within Zone A Alpha. Again, this is not an evacuation order. These are, you know, highly suggested because there are areas there that could be more, more seriously impacted than others. So, you know, if you live in those areas where we know we have problems with high tides already, such as Piney Island, such as Holly Point, that's why we specifically mention them. We want them to be aware. Of, hey, get on the sidewalk. Um, you know, if you're, if you're living on the island, if you're on Crate Island, if you're on the, um, right on the dunes at the beach, there is a chance that uh, you could see some penetration through the dunes there. Get safe. Get on that sidewalk there. It is available for you. And we just want to make sure the community is safe. We don't want to unnecessarily have to send uh, first responders out to help a situation that you can resolve yourself in Nassau County by just going to a friend's house or going to a shelter. So we know in emergency situations, things can change. So where can someone find out um, if they're at risk, the most up-to-date information on these areas of concern? Well, of course, we keep both our OneNassau.com um, updated regularly during storms. We keep pushing information through all of our social media accounts at Nassau EM. Um, that's both available on Facebook. It's available on Twitter. We even message out to people on next door who are signed up for that. So there is abundance of ways to get that information. Those are primary. And again, please visit those sites because we can fact check those. We know that we put that information out and we appreciate people sharing that information. Um, you know, we get a lot of questions. We talked about this last time with shelters and people always go, well, why did you wait? Why do you wait till the last minute to tell where these shelters are? It's because we've seen the change of the path of the storm. We've seen the change of the speed of the storm. So the last thing we want to do is early message a shelter location and then something that storm does may make us have to change that. And then that message has been shared hundreds of times, right? The message that we talked about at 830 has been shared over 200 times at this point. So if we put that out and then have to change something, we have bad information out there. It's very hard to deconflict that. So there is a reason that we do that. You know, the shelter, we, we knew we messaged the shelter was going to be opening, but we did not want to tell people the location for the specific reason that if we had to change something, we don't want to have to, you know, try to replace bad information with new information. Sometimes people don't see that. So there is a shelter open, it is available. It will remain open until the impacts are no longer dangerous to our um, citizens here. And so I hope that answers your question. Um, so since the shelter is available, do you have recommendations on when people should um, make calls to get help for transportation to the shelter or come to the shelter? Yeah, sure. If you need transportation to the shelter, you need to call us immediately at the uh, 904 548-0900. I'll repeat that, 904-548-0900. You need to call us immediately if you need transportation. If you don't need transportation, it's still better if you come there as soon as possible. I mean, we're start to, we're, we're gonna start seeing fringe impacts tonight. Earliest reasonable arrival is around 7 p.m. That could fluctuate, right? So the sooner the better. It is open, it's available. If you're going, go ahead and go and, and be there so you're safe. Director Cooper, you always talk about partnerships and how this is a community-wide effort in emergency management. Can, can you talk about that at all? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and partners are standing here with me. There's partners that aren't available because they're out also in the field doing work. 
But um, I'll, I'll let the chief step up and speak to the partnership and some of the things that the fire department is doing to help with our operations because we can't do it without them. Thank you, Director. Yes. So Nassau County Fire Rescue has been involved uh, with Hurricane Milton from uh, the onset, really, in cooperation with Director Cooper and his team in emergency management. We've had people in the emergency operations center, uh, and we're going to continue to respond. I want to encourage people, though, not to uh, overuse the 911 system. If you need 911, please give us a call. But if it's not a serious emergency, then, uh, uh, you know, maybe delay and call in or call a non-emergency number. Um, we will respond. We're going to continue to respond through the emergency um, as long as it's safely possible to do so. Uh, our people are human, too. And when it gets the conditions get too bad and they can't respond, then we, would, we, we could potentially pull them off the street. Not anticipating that happening. But if it does, we will we'll err on the side of caution and we'll uh, keep our people safe. We're also formulating special teams to uh, help keep the roads clear. And that is in conjunction with the sheriff's office uh, and road and bridge department as well. They are uh, and fire rescue. We we're formulate these teams. And as we hear about roads that need clearing, we will try and make our way safely to those roads and clear them when possible. So, uh, Director, thank you for the opportunity to be here. And again, please stay safe. A absolutely, Chief. And we cannot do it without the partnership that we have with the Sheriff's Office. We cannot do it with the, without the partnership we have with the fire departments, both the city and county. Um, but this is a whole community approach when we uh, activate here, um, including, uh, you know, the county personnel. They, I I've talked about them last time. I will continue to brag on them. They do an absolutely wonderful job getting these roads cleared. Um, with the support of both the fire department and the uh, the police departments here at Sheriff's Office. So um, having said that, I, I certainly appreciate um, uh, Taco Pope, the county manager, support and all this. And I'll, I know he has some words that he would like to share with the community, so I'll let him have that time. Thank you. Appreciate it, Director Tuber. Um, in terms of uh, partnerships, there are a lot of folks that really go unnoticed in these storms that do a lot of work. I mean, the procurement of goods, um, maintaining time and and managing funds because we are a a uh, a community who values uh, the the taxpayers' dollars, and so we make sure that we are very judicious in the expenditure of funds. We take the the necessary precautions to ensure your safety and a proper response, but we do so in a very responsible manner. Um, and so I can't say enough good things, both the fire, police, the, the the municipalities, and all the partners that come together. Uh, to ensure that we can prepare and respond to keep the community safe. I do have one one item. Um, I know that beach driving in, in Nassau County is a sensitive topic, and we uh, we approach it appropriately. Unfortunately, given the forecast for this evening going in tomorrow morning, uh, we will have to enter a position where vehicular access to the beach is going to be closed. And so tonight, starting at 6 p.m., um, with Beach access for vehicles will close and will remain closed um, until impacts can be assessed and then reopened. And so if you plan to go and visit the beach, you will not be able to drive on with your vehicle seat. Thank you, Mr. Pope. Uh, sure. Yeah, and again, the work that the county's done, even in preparation for that, it, it, it really is amazing um, how much work gets done in a short amount of time because of the plans that we talk about we work um, on year round. Um, none of that happens without the plans, but I can have the best, best plans in the world, but if I'm not supported by these gentlemen and the other people in this community that come together and make that whole community, we're just not successful. We are here because we have that type of support, so I appreciate you guys. Well, and as a resident, I appreciate you all and you keeping us safe. Is there anything else you would like to add, Director Cooper? Continue to report anything that you have, uh, you know, to OneNassau.com. You know, you can go in there. Uh, you can make damage reports through OneNassau.com. That's here just like it was during uh, the previous storm. And in addition to that, the 904-548-0900 number is always available. If you have a question that you may not see the answer to on our um, social media or get the information you need here, there are people standing by right now to answer those calls. We realize there's people in the community that have specific questions and specific needs. That's why they're there. They're available. If you have a question about your zones, they can help you walk through that. If you have a question about your impacts, they can help you walk through that. They're there to give that good information. So, again, I would like to point them to OneNassau.com. 
our social media is at Nassau EM and make sure that they understand that phone number is there and available for them. And, and we'll be here until it's over and we're back to normal. Wonderful. Well, thank you all so much for your time. We know how busy you are, um, but these updates are so important to the community and Nassau County. We look forward to continue to update you through the storm. And thank you for helping us share that information. Mm -hmm.